I'm Stephen Main. Welcome to the Main Report from outside the New South Wales Parliament on Macquarie Street in Sydney. Now the reason we're standing in front of the worst governed parliament in the country is because today we've been dealing with the worst governed company in the country. We're talking about the Tasmanian tree loppers guns. I've just attended the annual meeting of Perpetual Limited, who are the largest shareholder in guns with 15%. And I put it to Chairman Bob Savage that Perpetual should have knocked guns into shape and really twisted a few arms down there in Tasmania to clean up the appalling governance at guns. Have a listen to some of the comments I made. In relation to guns, I have no particular issue with the forestry debate. Um, but I've been to probably 300 AGMs over the years. I, I have very small holdings in 445 stocks. And I haven't come across a company more belligerent and with worse corporate governance or a worse approach to you know, community relations than guns. Uh, I mean, guns ban the press from their AGM. They ban visitors from their AGM. They have an executive chairman, which is in breach of good governance guidelines. Uh, their executive chairman refused to submit himself to election for a decade until I ran for the board two years ago and said, I'm going to run every year until you do. And the next year he finally yielded and became like every other executive chairman and actually submitted himself to election each three years. Uh, the, the company thinks it's fine to do renovations on the Premier's house. Um, they have a director who was adversely commented on in a Royal Commission. They just walked out of a, a process that was put in place for approval of a pulp mill. And all the while, Perpetual has sat there as the biggest shareholder, and from what I can tell, you've done absolutely nothing about this. You have three times as many shares as the executive chairman CEO, uh, John Gay, and he just runs the, runs the place like it's a private company, and you, from all I can tell, have done precisely nothing to improve corporate governance, community relations, stakeholder relations, etc. at guns. And now your good name is being tarred by the brush of their cowboy antics. And I simply ask you, why have you put yourself in this position? What have you done to clean up the cowboy behaviour at guns? And why have you put yourself in this position, risking your good reputation, having what I understand is probably the largest percentage holding in any stock in the top 300. I mean, I don't know if, if there are any others that you're at 15%. So I just don't understand why you've done this. I don't understand why you've sat on your hands and I'd be pleased to hear from you exactly how you have attempted to, to leverage your shareholding to improve governance and behaviour at guns and not face such, ri such risks to your reputation. Savage's answers were pretty weak. He couldn't point to any changes they'd made to improve governance at guns and just said, yeah, we have a bit of dialogue with the company. All up, it was a lively annual meeting. There weren't as many Greens protesting about guns as I thought, but we put Chairman Savage through his paces and afterwards he came up for a chat and said, that was a good debate. I'm Stephen Main, standing outside the New South Wales Parliament. Just keep doing your best.